this bar that we're sitting in is hallowed ground for tax reform. Cheers. Cheers. Give me your diagnosis right now of what you expect to happen and when on this subject because it's been a long time and it takes a long time. My hope is that the, uh, the administration will come together with the leadership in the House and Senate and craft a common path forward uh, on the, the fundamental outlines of a real tax reform package. So my hope for the tax reform is that we can get to a point where the administration has done enough with the leadership in both houses to get that outline, the kind of outline that Packwood and Diefenderfer came up here, to get that outline and build the momentum that, that right now looks like it, you know, it's, not, it's not present. You're not, you're not seeing that at this moment. If it's only tax cuts and not reform, is that good enough? I doubt it. One of the most important reforms that can happen is switching from our very outmoded worldwide system of taxation to a territorial system. That would be, that would be a big, a dramatic change in the way the U.S. does its, uh, does its taxing of, of business. Uh, and it would be a dramatic improvement on measures that currently basically incent corporations to move overseas. The border adjustment tax. I know you don't have a position on that because you've got businesses on both sides. If there isn't something like the, the border adjustment tax, there's going to have to be some other base broadening that, that brings in revenue. If it's a rate reduction of any substantial mm -hmm. size, it won't be fiscally responsible to do it without some kind of base broadening. Members seem, from what we can tell, much more interested in the cut part than the responsibility part. A fiscally irresponsible tax reform would, would not be a net benefit to the U.S. economy because we would, we would ultimately pay the price uh, in, in higher interest rates, in, in maybe a fiscal crisis in the U.S. Does that mean budget neutral? I don't know. If we're talking a, a relatively modest increase in the deficit and the long-term debt, the tax reform would cause a, a bump up in our, our, our growth potential, mm -hmm. let's say from 1.5% to 25 or even 3%. That's a good trade-off to make. Is the most important thing uh, to uh, overhaul the corporate tax system, or does it need to be personal as well? And if it needs to be personal, is it critical in your view that the top rate come down that the estate tax go away, that the cap gains rate comes down. The most important thing is the business rate uh, and the territoriality. Mm -hmm. uh, those two things, I think, will really unleash That's where the, the growth comes, That's not the where stuff the growth. in the personal side. As a, as an Amer a regular American citizen who you know, gets a salary, mm -hmm. uh, I'd love to see rates come down. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I think that'll be helpful for the economy. But what we really need is a reform of the corporate side because, because that's where this country is uncompetitive right now. Goldman Sachs talent is a big part of this uh, process. Is that evidence that what comes out of this process will not be good for average people? I don't think so. Uh, all of the CEOs in the business roundtable, they're fine. They make a lot of money, probably like to make more, but they they don't actually need more money. They're pushing for tax reform because they're worried about the competitiveness of U.S. companies. Their interests are now aligned, completely aligned, with the average worker who they want to employ. They want to pay them more. Uh, but in order to do that, they need to have the economic circumstances um, that make it possible for them to invest more in this country. Give me your straight up realistic assessment of the likelihood that a significant tax reform is enacted before the 2018 elections. They're not where they, they need to be right now, but I'm, I'm an optimist. I think they can get where they need to be uh, this year.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.